Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be showing you all a simple fix to an underlying issue I myself have been experiencing and possibly many of you guys have been experiencing too ever since I first started recording my Fortnite gameplay using Shadowplay. That's right, guys. As most of you know already, I've been recording my own Fortnite gameplay for about two years now. And ever since that time of me recording myself play, I've just figured out today, like literally just before, that I've been playing on an input delay all this time. Like I'm not joking either guys, this is legit and the way I found out that I have been playing on this input delay this entire time is because I went ahead and did this fix and ever since I've done this fix that I'm showing you all today, my gameplay has felt completely different. Now, I know that that might come across as too good to be true, but it isn't, guys, because whenever I did used to record myself play Fortnite, I always thought to myself, the game feels so different to when I am recording and playing to when I'm playing and not recording. Like, it seemed when I didn't record Fortnite, I played much more better, I was hitting my shots easier, I was doing better edits, and then when I did turn on the recording software, or did use that instant replay that's a feature of NVIDIA Shadowplay, I noticed straight away that my gameplay took a hit, and it didn't feel the same as it did when I wasn't recording, so I knew something was up. Well, what it turned out to be, guys, was this setting on screen right now, and that is called the Record Desktop setting. Now, this setting on screen right here isn't where you think it might be. It isn't in the recording settings. It isn't in, like, the general sort of NVIDIA Shadowplay tab, like the menu. It's actually hidden away in the Privacy Control settings at the very, very bottom. But this setting right here, guys, this is what I'm blaming for all of these issues, like the input delay I mentioned earlier. Like, for real, I think that this has been causing it the entire time, and the reason I believe that guys is because I have tried turning off this setting just before and guys my game felt like I wasn't recording. For real guys by changing this setting it's literally a game changer and I recommend you all right now go into your Nvidia options by pressing alt and z hit that little cog and scroll all the way down to the bottom till you see privacy control and then in there you want to turn off this setting. After doing that guys boot open Fortnite try and record that's either via doing it manually or using and the instant replay and when you are recording and playing at the same time you should feel that your game feels super super responsive as if you're not recording at all like that's exactly what it did for me guys and when i did first find this out i was literally mind blown as i honestly wish i did this a lot lot sooner like i wish i did this last year it's that much of a game changer and i recommend you all do it right now but yeah guys that's pretty much the fix right there like i said it's done wonders for me and i really do wish i did it a lot lot sooner I'd love for all of you guys that do have this setting turned on, like I myself, I did this entire time and I never really noticed it was doing it in the background. Like obviously I did know it was on because like I do record my desktop sometimes, like I am right now, but I didn't know that it was always on in the background and I think that's what's been causing this issue the entire time. Like I could be wrong here, but to me it looks like Shadow Player has been prioritising the game and the desktop at the exact same time, which obviously isn't good, we would much prefer if Shadow Play just recorded the game and prioritized that, not the desktop as well. Like, you can just imagine how much resources Shadow Play is using to process recording these two together instead of just recording the one. But yeah, guys, I'm 100% sure that that's been the cause of my input delay this entire time while I've been recording Fortnite. I know it might not seem that I have been getting this input delay, but you need to take my word for it. I have. Whenever I did record Fortnite, it always felt a lot worse than when I had the whole software completely turned off. However, now though, after I have done this fix today that I'm showing you all, it feels no different. So now when I record, it's pretty much like I'm not recording. Like, I can't describe it, guys. Please just go ahead and try this out for yourselves and let me know what you think of it in the comments section below. I can guarantee right now, most of you will feel like I'm feeling here and you'll be absolutely mind blowing. But yeah, that's all from me today, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all have a great day. Peace.